Hello my lovelies, happy happy Sunday to you. I hope you are all having an awesome weekend and a relaxing one as well. So today I decided to check out a lot of different markets. I've been seeing so many posts about a vintage market that happens every single Sunday in St. Lawrence. So I'm gonna be checking that out. Maybe some Kensington market as well. So basically today is all about the market. So mainly I do want to see that vintage market, but if I see any other things along the way, I'm going to check those out too. So yeah, come along with me.
I am back from my shopping adventure and I had such an awesome time in so many different places and I found so many cute treasures. Okay, so let's start off from the top on the way to the St. Lawrence Market. I actually got a bit distracted and then I ended up going into Wildlife thrift store. I had such a great time. They have such a great selection and then I ended up walking away with a little scarf that I'm going to be showing you later on. Okay, so after that little detour, I ended up finding the Sunday Variety Market in St. Lawrence. So it's not the St. Lawrence St. Lawrence where you buy food, it's the building behind it, which is like an extension of the St. Lawrence Market. New discovery, I did not know that. And then there were so many different stalls and Basically, you can find everything <laughs> in, in that variety market. And then I ended up buying just a few things from there. And then I ended up in the Kensington Market where I wanted to see, see some art. So I entered into the Kensington Art Gallery. They did have some art, but there was actually so much more stuff in there. So I ended up buying some bags. It's actually on Baldwin Street. So that one I really enjoyed because I even got to haggle with them, which honestly is always so much fun for me. So that was basically what I ended up doing today. So yeah, now I'm going to show you all the awesome stuff that I got. From the wildlife thrift store, I found this lush scarf. Really love the color and the little tassels here at the bottom. And I feel like, well, it feels like cashmere and I got it for $8. I found this really unique sweater from the vintage market. It's neutral, but has such an interesting flair. So it is priced at 25, but I haggled it down to 20 and it is from the store Nogoprina. I actually met the owner and she is really awesome. She also sells jewelry so you can follow her on Instagram. It's at Nogoprina. Oh and the brand of this is French Connection. I mean French Connection sweater for $20. That is such a great deal. This is my most favorite thing that I found today. It is this stunning cream jacket and I really love the shoulder detailing it's giving powerful woman vibes a little bit of military and it is from the brand nevada rose you can follow them on their socials and i really love this fabric it's just such a luxurious type of coat and i got it for only 60 dollars. it was actually originally 75 dollars, but you know i haggled with them and i got it at 60 and the brand is impromptu and this is made out of pure virgin wool. I found all of these bags from the Kensington Art Gallery and they were $20 each. This is such a cute puffer bag and it definitely needs cleaning but I think it looks really nice and the brand is Roots. This is a nice casual Calvin Klein bag. I love the monogram design and the little details right here. Now it didn't come with a strap so I had to improvise but overall I think it's really cute. I still can't believe that I found this cute little puffer bag from All Saints with the original tag. So the original price is $289 but I got it for $20 and honestly it looks so good. I love the leather puff effect and it even has the All Saints strap on it. This is how the inside looks like. So we have a little zip here and another compartment with more pockets and it's just a magnetized closure. Here's the receipt for these two bags. The other one I paid in cash so I don't have the receipt. But anyway, we have the address right there and I just folded out some private stuff. But yeah, that is how much I paid plus tax. That is it for my market adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I am still so super excited about this bag right here. So I just wanted to try her on, see how she feels, imagine so many different outfits that I could wear with this. So yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it made you think about sustainable shopping or making more sustainable choices. And I will see you guys on my next one. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.